Right, so Sister Creedy Kent in the first room, and what do you say? This dates from the year that she's just first started to screen print. Ah, oh, right. So these are like early, early. Wow. Because her work, her later work... Maybe not well. early in her career, but early... It's very graphic. In her screen printing process. Mm-hmm. And, and her later was had a lot of words on it. 1951, if that's any help with your timelines, timelines on her, because you know quite a bit. Well, I, I'm less familiar with her early work mm-hmm. because I love the text. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. No surprises there. <laughs> no surprises there. Indeed. Interesting. So this whole room is all about colour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah. she's taken something that wasn't that the artists don't use that stuff that's commercial. Yeah, you're right. Compared to Chanel, as you say yesterday, was using the Fabric 4... That was underwear for us. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the next the picture down. It's called Pentecost. Oh, yeah. I was drawn to that image, but I don't know why. Ah, well, there you go. Rich, deep purple. Oh, I see it now. I see it like tongues of fire. No, no, I see the, the flames here. I see the people. Oh, yes. And then... Oh, fabulous. Mm. You see more and more faces appear in that the more you look at it. Mm-hmm. Good art rewards viewing, rewards time spent with it. Mm-hmm. I like the way she's beside Wilhelmina Gorm- Barnes Graham. I love that phrase, the exuberant embrace of strong colours. Mm-hmm. Quick Time was printed two years after the artist's death by her long-time collaborators. Not amazing uh, at a press near outside Adelaide. That wouldn't surprise me if I walked in and saw that on the wall. <laughs> well, not that one. I'm not going to steal it. It's just, no, just saying, <laughs> but yes, I, it's, I would love that. If I, if I walked into your house and something like that. Would I would that. love that, yeah. So, no Margaret that. Nellis. I'm not familiar with... 1914. 2009, painted 1964. Hmm. That is some colour straight from the tube, I would say, because those blues look very like mm. cobalt blue, mm-hmm. don't they? Yeah. And where is it there? Da, 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 da. Something about full strength. Da, da, da. Where does it go? Bottom yeah. paragraph. Yeah. Uh, but colours to find the kind of strength which would simultaneously let them work at full strength and integrate with themselves in the shapes of this yeah. colour structure. You can't have a colour at full strength if you mix it with anything. Mm. It doesn't matter whether that's whether you mix it with the black or whether you mix it with the white or something in between. You can't have it full strength, so that would imply that she has. Use it straight from the tube. Take it straight from the tube. Precision in the person in me wants to straighten all the lines. Because it's ge- geometric and it's kind of so. I want to, I want to make everything. Yeah, the, the, this has not had a ruler used. It's all no, been done by eye. That's just me. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm just expressing my yes reaction to it. So you would find that hard to live Which with then? I, I want to straighten the lines because the the shapes are triangles and squares mm. essentially. And so a blurry square wants me to like that. I'm happy. I would be happier with that than I would with that because right. that is got this kind of homage to the square or something, and it mm-hmm. is very square. <coughs> Straight line. Is that? It's like either be geometric or don't. Happy Interesting with that as well. Happy with that because that's. I love the way the edges are changed so that there's a different Me too Shape Again it's a triangle It's a triangle Mm -hmm. It's a triangle Not a blurry triangle No And it matches your glasses (laughs) (laughs) It's very essential It's important in an artwork It should match your outfit This next one is a mixture again of that, geometric and yeah, that I can blood. Because the, the lines that are meant to be geometric are straight, but they're still blurry bits. Like, you're shearing within the boxes, you see, yeah, which is like, it's not a hard yeah, line. It's not a hard line on the edge. Mm-hmm. 
まあ There's a,、oh, there's such a difference between that, which is just, to me, is just sloppy. Right. <laughs> okay. Just say what you really think, huh? I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah.、Um, and this. And that is considered, to, more considered to me.、Mm. It's the scale of it. I love it. It's a colour field, I think.、Mm. And I saw it the other day, and I think it's. Would you need to read the name of the artist? It's a lady painter again, I think. That's. I experimented with using acrylics as washes. Right. <coughs> and I love I love doing it because you get that kind of staining, and then you get layering. But it's transparent. It's really transparent layering.、So. Called Mesh 2,、mm. 1981. Our work often refers to fences, gates, mesh, and w a l l Does that make you think I could do that as an artwork? I think it's, it's more, I think it's harder. It, 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 there's a the complexity of all these patterns and things that she's put in there. I don't know what I'd have the patience for. There's definitely a lot of underpainting and then over.、Yeah. I really like that, the sense that there's something I underneath. I do, I do. And even as we are going to point the camera out where it looks like she's blotted it out, like, oh no, that was a mistake.、Mm -hmm. Scrub it out quick. It's quite a simple palette overall, when you, but then when you start looking, you start seeing other things. I like it. It's kind of Aboriginal, it's got a, got a,、mm. sort of a quality about it. Primitive. Yeah, naive. And then I see these figures like there's a man here with a football. <laughs> <laughs> you start seeing little people and your eye starts trying to make sense of it, so you, they become creatures or.、Folk. And the, the other thing I'm noticing as I look at it up close is that because the, the colour of the shapes in the background is so totally similar, you start to look at the negative space to see shapes、mm -hmm. between the shapes. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm doing that now. Yeah, as soon as you've said it, I'm starting to. And then you get depth. Starts to take on a 3D kind of thing. Now that would reward you with more viewing that、mm. one. What do you like about this one, Anne? It's not grabbing me quite so much initially. The palette, the blocks, the blocks of colour, the texture, and the bits, and the, this pattern d area.、Mm. I sometimes find it hard to say why I like something. Yes. Just a, Sorry, that wasn't a fair question. That, that was no, not no, 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 no. a fair question. Just saying, I, I sometimes find it hard to say why I like this. I think there's real differences in depth of the, the, the paints. Some look quite chunky and you can see texture, and then others are definitely thinned out more and spread across. A lot of texture around here. Precise kitchen you did. <laughs> There's one I absolutely love, which is a pink table, which is absolutely fabulous. Is that the one with the fireplace? There's one with、yes, the fireplace. Yes, I think so. You,、mm -hmm. you show me it's on the cover of my book of her、mm -hmm. artwork at all. But there is certainly a skill in doing the lace work on the table's edge. I mean,、mm -hmm. that is pretty amazing. I like the colour p a l e t on that. Yes, it has some more colour in it.、Mm -hmm. I think it's a very feminine perspective. Because when you get guys doing still lifes like Suzanne, they do fruit or food or something, but it's got that sort of sense of beautiful things that she loves. Like,、mm -hmm. That's probably a favourite jug of hers China and the flowers as well. A hint of a pattern in this one is just a hint of a sort of Japanese little temple m e a d o w and stuff. Just a hint of it. Nice. I love that. Yes, it's a nice colour combination. And that's almost like all the Keeley fabric. Kinda,、um, I'm guessing that's curtains. But these leaf things that I've read、yes. nice from, a, from a, a former era. Yes, I didn't know where that influence came from. 
Well, depending on what time this was painted, it could be 1967 or 1946. Yeah, so I'd never wow. that I'd always thought, I'd, I knew it had a retro feel, mm-hmm. but I assumed the retro was 70s. Yes, I would have thought that too, but that's 1940. But that, that definitely mm-hmm. is reminiscent of that kind of... I agree. Is it airbrushed? Is it a paint photograph? Is it a... Where's that one? Where's that one? Yes. Sorry? There's nostalgia in that for me looking at it. Sorry? There's nostalgia in that image for me looking at it because all these plastic colours and colours. Online things and stuff like that are from my childhood. Mm-hmm. So there's a degree of nostalgia when I look at that. Hmm. This photograph, I feel, is one of the few where the wall text really adds value. Right. It describes that it's a woman and how she would set up her props and how her work was. I'm surprised at the date of that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was like 1940s or yeah. earlier because it just... The, there's things in there that could be from any period almost. Mm-hmm. Agreed. And the dress here, although... What was it? No, is that 1980s? Yeah, 1980s. But the dress is like a Princess Diana dress that used to wear. Now that I know that it's the 1980s, but that could have equally have been like Edwardian or mm-hmm. any, anything. Because the new romantics were harking back. Yeah, you know? and the hairstyle uh-huh. is, could have been anything from Edwardian through 1910, 1920. It's just a kind of hairstyle that people mm-hmm. could still wear today. It's quite difficult to date. I also think that what immediately when you see a black and white photograph, you start to think 1950s or earlier. Because it's not colour. I'm looking for references to see if I can see any references, but all these references could be from any of those periods, and even the window is kind of like 30s. Mm. So I, I, would have, I would never have put it in the 1980s. Agreed. <laughs> 